Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. I'm joined by Toby, Matt, and Swagger. Hello. <laughs> and I'm Fitz. <laughs> How good is that? We should have been doing that every week from the start. That shit was so fucking cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Guys, it's another week on the show. Mm. We're here. We're back. We're vaxxed. We're vaxxed. Oh. I stuck, oh. I stuck, uh, I stuck I'm a I'm not. Oh, I'm not vaxxed. Yeah. You're not, not vaxxed. What are you, anti vax? Uh, what do you believe in this whole magnet th shit? I don't believe in it. Just it's, waiting for I don't no need vax. to believe in it. See, you're <laughs> magnetic. <laughs> oh, what? You haven't been I'm not, vaccinated. I'm not vaccinated. Oh, if you did it to yourself, <laughs> it would have worked. I've also just broken your phone. Ah, uh, who cares? Yeah, that's, right. that's how <laughs> I feel. Extremely rich. <laughs> Extremely rich person yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. I've stuck a needle in my arm this week. The wise and heroin. You stuck your own Ooh. needle in? Um, you vaxxed I, yourself? I wanted to. I wanted to. I, w I went up to this lady. She's this old Russian lady. And, like, it, there, were, there were, like, two nurses there. One was really hot and very thin and looked very cute. And then the other one was just very old, saggy, and Russian. And I was like, I'll choose that one. Cause, yeah, you know, the Russian one. Yeah. Yeah, because you course. don't want to get an erection while they're trying to find a vein. Absolutely they need not. the blood. They need, you know, blood clotting the last time, you yeah. know, because I got AstraZeneca and there's like a 0.0001% chance for me yeah. to get a blood clot. So it's clot. basically guaranteed. It's yeah. pra those are my odds. Yeah. So like, you know, if I had an erection, I would, the last part where I would want a blood clot would be my cock. I don't know. Just a constant <laughs> erection. A constant erection. You'd save a lot of money on Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. more for you. You. no more cock rings. No more cock rings. No, not necessary. <laughs> Dude, imagine that a fucking boner that never goes down. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. about that often. Do you think about that a lot? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Yeah. It's cool if you do. Oh, we, then I Pretty do. normal for yeah. a teenage boy to be thinking about such things. I'm not a teenage boy. Oh. Really? <laughs> the fuck? I could have sworn. You're, you've immediately lost interest in you. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, see. Uh, he's Catholic. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. I used to be Catholic. Now I'm vaccinated. <laughs> Feeling good. Feels good to be here. I'm not, I'm not fully vaxxed, of yeah, course. We, None we, of us are. We got our first dose. First dose. Toby's the only one who's lagging behind. Well, I'm, I'm still lagging. It's, cause she, it's not because she like hasn't had the time. It's just that she doesn't care about the majority of you. That's exactly it. And it's definitely not that there's... Uh, I can't find any appointments. Yeah, mine was weird because like, I looked and there were zero appointments forever. And then I refreshed and one popped up for like that Sunday. Okay, oh, so yeah, fuck? that's my problem. I'm looking, can't find anything. Yeah, I think you just have to wait until someone cancels and get lucky like I did. I just got really lucky. And it's like, oh, you get tomorrow. You get bunked months in advance. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you Kinda probably cringe. should. It's probably the only way. Otherwise, you're yeah. just always going to yeah. be behind. Yeah, and then you're gonna be some filthy unvaccinated. I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be that. You know, <laughs> on our podcast. So, man, yeah. why do you distrust the vaccine? Oh, I don't trust anything, mate. Right, but like it, heroin, I at least know, I know where that's coming from. That's yeah. from Steve. Like it's we talk all the time, you know. Yeah, right from St Stevie. Yeah, he's only had like only one guy die. So, like, out of, yeah, like, but, the hundreds of thousands of government. heroin he's given, that's, like, 0.001% like, chance, well, you know? Well, precisely, out of one person, out of, like, the hundreds of thousands yeah. of people that he's supplying, yeah. like, grade A heroin to, like, one person dying is, 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 is nothing. It's not even a rinse. Yeah, I heard it, that was his own fault. There, he could have been doing meth that day. You know, they said died with heroin in his system, not died of heroin. So, yeah. I don't really trust the hospitals, mate, when they tell someone's dead, I, you know? Now, now people people do sometimes get upset when we talk about drugs and don't put like a big safety disclaimer first. Yeah. So should we say a big safety disclaimer for the vaccination? Absolutely. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. don't reuse needles. Yeah, don't heroin's reuse fine, needles. but vaccines you yes. should really research. You know, yeah. I mean, we did the drug tier list a few weeks ago, and vaccines. now that I've tried the facts, I got to put it really low on that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, this made me feel bad for two days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. here I am. I'm the crocodile. <laughs> the crocodile. <laughs> yeah. 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 Probably not. My skin hasn't been flaking and falling off That's yet. That's true. Yeah. So what bags did you get? I got AZ. I Same. Got AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca. Yeah. So how did it make you feel? Uh, I just felt like I was in a dream state for three days after. I had a sore arm for like a day. I had like mild feverish symptoms on the first <laughs> night. But then after the next two days, I just felt like nothing was real. And I was just in a lot of brain fog. I'm sorry. <laughs> Asking me about what, what my symptoms were, and then you're acting like I'm complaining. <laughs> Wait, we literally pushed off the podcast because of your shot. Oh, oh, like yeah, you sound like my true. GP when I go in and tell him that I got a cold. He's like, Oh, oh, you little baby got a cold. I'm like, Yeah, that's why I'm here. He's like, No, you want some, some prescription drugs? I'm like, Please. He's like, Okay. 
<laughs> use some Xanax. <laughs> some, some Xanax. Chill the fuck out, with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like these virgin appointments. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I had like similar symptoms to you, mm. but they, they, oh, they oh, you did. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they, they told me they told me that I shouldn't that I shouldn't work out, and I'm in like in this swing of like working out again, and so I was like, nah, I'll work out, I'll be fine, and I did like Arms Day or whatever, and then. <laughs> that night, my fucking, uh, the, the whole, the whole, like, my, my right side of my neck and my trapezes, like, started to Your hurt. Your trapezes? trapezes. My trapezes ah. started to hurt, like, really, really bad. It got uh-huh. really sore and really, like, stiff. And so I was trying to, like, fucking Did work you not it. anticipate that? No, I didn't. Working out after getting a shot in your arms? <laughs> well, you no, like it heard was, that everyone's it was, getting sore arms after no, getting a shot? No, but it was the other side. Uh, it was the other side that hurt. I got it in my left arm because uh, I wanted to beat off. That's it, smart. Precisely. Yeah. And so, like, my right trap is, 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 like, you know, it's stiff and it's sore. And I'm like, oh, this kind of sucks. And then the pain started to get, like, really, really bad. And then it started to radiate to my shoulder and then all the way down my arm. And then it felt like someone was twisting my arm while, st- a blood clot. while st- stabbing it. You think? Oh. No, I don't, I, no I don't know. it probably wouldn't have been a blood clot. <laughs> but, yeah, then I, I took two Panadol and smoked weed and then I went to bed. And then I woke up the next day completely fine. So take your vaccines today. <laughs> Wait, we're really selling it. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck kind of shit is this? But, but really, the vaccine is good for you. Well, yeah. Well, you know, vaccination is, seems like the only way forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only way forward. In Australia, fucking cases are skyrocketing. Even in Victoria, it's not looking that great. <laughs> you hear this shit? <laughs> you hear this shit? If his cases are skyrocketing. Like, listen, in, in, com- in, right com- in comparison to your great nation in America, it's nothing. Dude, of course, you guys have got us beat. Mm. You, guys are, you guys are literally killing it. Number one, baby. You guys are killing it. Like, killing one. everyone. It's crazy. Like, man, a significant portion of your population. <laughs> Done. Killing it. <laughs> Fucking weed him out, mate. Dude. But here in Australia, you know, we thought we beat this goddamn virus back. We thought that we were kind of free for a bit at the beginning of this year. Yeah, we thought we beat it off. Cases are back in numbers, man. And it's fucking accumulating at an alarming rate. So the only way to get out of this shit seems to be able to... you got to get vaccinated. Yeah. People just need to get vaccinated. Please get fucking vaccinated. Don't listen to Joe Rogan, that dumb fuck! Dude, Joe Rogan's too smart. Nah, he's a bit of a, he's an alright guy. Yeah. But he keeps talking about anti-vax shit. You guys but, have, that? but haven't you ever seen the picture of the hairless chimp? Hey, Mitchell, <laughs> Mitchell, pull that up real quick. Just pull, uh, just pull he, up a picture of Joe Rogan. I want to be able to see my family. <laughs> Fresh out the sauna. Fresh out the sauna. <laughs> Fresh out the sauna. I don't know, man. Look, I don't really listen to much Joe anymore, but I just keep seeing clips of him just using anecdotal evidence of yeah. his friends who got vaccinated and then got sick and then using that as science. And I'm like, man, what the fuck are you doing? It's kind of like us t- using our platform and just yeah. talking about bullshit we don't understand. Yeah, but the thing mm. is, people actually uh, trust uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, people don't trust us at all. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah oh. people don't hear what we say and then go, well, they're so smart. That must be true. But I with think- Joe Rogan, I feel like people are like, oh, wow, that's so interesting. Must be true. Mm. It's entirely possible. Mm. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. Anyway, this isn't about calling out Joe Rogan. No. This is about calling out you if you're not looking into getting vaccinated, if you can. Yeah. A lot of, there's seems a lot like of the, people. Like the play. There's a lot of people that have no fucking idea how the vaccines work, and then that innately scares them. Like, especially with yeah, like it's, the, it's the same reason why people hate transgender people. Mm. <laughs> they hate they hate things they don't understand. Fear born out of ignorance. Yeah, precisely. A, a tale yeah. as old as time. Yeah. But the mRNA vaccines, like, I think it's Pfizer and Moderna, like, the, the big two that are mRNA. What does mRNA mean? mRNA is messenger RNA. So the idea is that they have, I have, I have a, just, just so I make sure that I don't absolutely bundle Damn. this. Damn. Swagger and, got the notes. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so mRNA is messenger RNA. Um. It, so the, the vaccine gets injected into your upper arm and then your muscle cells will translate it into the rest of your body. So DNA is in your nucleus, in, in your cells. Uh, factors in your body will cause your DNA to unwind and RNA polymerase is the enzyme that creates RNA. I learned some of these words in high school. This will... Uh, I did So this reads like the coding strand of the DNA and it'll, con- and it'll transcribe it into pre-mRNA. So then the mRNA leaves the nucleus and it's modified 
Um, and then that'll travel into the cytosol, and it'll attach to a ribosome. Do you know what a ribosome is? Wait, is pre-RNA like pre-cum of the DNA world? Essentially, yes. Mm-hmm. So do you, know what a, do, do you know what a ribosome is? It's yeah. like the little, the little uh, organelles, the very, very tiny, like the tiniest organelles in your cell. Mm. They're very small proteins that are designed to make more proteins. So tRNA... Uh, attaches to the mRNA and it'll bind to a specific codon, which is three base pairs of amino acids. This is going over every single motherfucker's yeah. head. Um, I'm not but, listening to any uh, I, I, I'm sorry, thinking about monkeys. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, but, I'm not thinking about monkeys, but... I'm thinking about dolphin pussy, to be real yeah. with you. Because ribosomes are small proteins that make more proteins, it uses the, the, the mRNA to make the ribosomes produce the spike protein, the specific spike protein of, like, COVID, of of SARS-CoV-2, the actual virus. And then, you know, because that spike protein naturally wants to bind to the surface of a, of a membrane of a cell, it'll make it very easy for you, your immune system to, to recognize it and destroy it. And, you know, the, your B cells... Your antigen presenting cells will digest them and it'll retain like a quote unquote memory of the pathogen. So if mm. you get a legitimate infection um, in the future, your immune system can just be like, oh, look, hey, it's this little bitch. Fuck this thing. And then it'll yeah, eat it okay. and then fuck it to death. Wow. Um, and that's fucks it kind of extreme. That's Basically. how that's how mRNA vaccines work. It does not fucking alter your DNA. I've seen a bunch of like a bunch of, you know, cro magnon fucking little worms. Uh, go to school board meetings being like, I don't want to take the vaccine because it's going to fucking make my DNA go all haywire. <laughs> and it's like, no, it isn't, you fucking weirdo. You know what? You know what? You know what actually damages your DNA? <laughs> fucking standing out in the sun. UV radiation. You know what damages your radia- You know what damages your DNA? Fucking waiting for your microwave meal to finish. Your fucking TV dinner staring okay. <laughs> through the screen like door. Freedom. You know, that, that's what actually damages your so, DNA. So basically what you're saying is uh, not having the vaccine is like playing Dark Souls for the first time. But having the vaccine <laughs> is like is like playing Dark Souls, but you've beat it a hundred times already and you know all the moves. Yeah, pre- mm. precisely. Mm, you yeah. know, it's your B cells being like, oh, fucking Lord is in there. I, 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 I know, I know I, how to I, beat I, this. Dude, roll, roll, <laughs> dodge to the left, back, step, stab. You yeah. know, so wow. but that's like teaching your body how to. But how that's it, how yeah. It. That's how mRNA delivers the the ability to make the spike protein. But that's not every vaccine. The one that me and you <laughs> took, AstraZeneca, is an adenovirus vector. The adenovirus is like a, a common cold virus that they've manufactured and they they've essentially genetically modified it so that it can't reproduce. So they deliver a. Damn, the virus can't have babies. Yeah, the, the virus can't. Well, that's your genetics. It's kind of fucked up, mate. So they have. Must um, be made in China. So I believe with the adenovirus. <laughs> what <laughs> does that mean? Oh. You already have one baby there. <laughs> oh. oh. So. Right? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. That could be wrong. <laughs> sure. Sure. The, the way like the adenovirus vector works in, in AstraZeneca specifically is that. They'll have this virus that they've genetically modified. They've ta- they've they've um, taken out its ability to replicate, and then they've added uh, instructions into its RNA. And then you know that way the virus will go attach itself to your cells, and then you know deliver the genetic code for your own cells to produce um, the spike protein. And then when your cell you know dies. Uh, all the spike proteins will go out into, you know, into your body. And then the same process from, you know, the mRNA picks up your antibodies, go, oh, what's this? And then your B cells and T cells are like, oh, shit, I'm going to eat it. And then when it eats it, it's like, mm, I'm going to memorize it. And then you're good. Wow. Isn't that absolutely mad that we're just made up of a bunch of cells? Dude, that, I was uh, thinking about that. Just have little intelligence of their own little little things that they're instructed to do. You ever seen yeah. Osmosis oh Jones? <laughs> What? <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen Osmosis Jones? a remake Jones? for that, for COVID. Osmosis Jones? Jones. Osmosis Jones? Yeah. I don't know what that is. That was, that was the movie I watched when I fucking shoved my foot through a window and yeah. cut it open. I had to go to the hospital. I've told this story on the podcast before. It's, it's a banger movie. It must have been so good that you were just air kicking. Bill Murray's in the window. <laughs> yeah. Bill Murray was it's bas- in it? It's, it's yeah. basically just uh, what the inside of Bill Murray's body looks like. And it's uh, fucking sick. I've, I've seen this referenced in cartoons i want to i want to be inside bill murray what 
Yeah, that's so fair. sick. Yeah, he's kind of old now though. Yeah, but you still know, still a great actor. Still a great. Yeah, actor. so the vaccine is is the red pill guy in Osmosis Jones. Yeah, do you now will him? you take it, idiots? Wait, is it the is it a movie where they eat a pill and go real, get real small and go inside? No, 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 no. no. Uh, pull up a picture of Osmosis Jones and the red pill guy. Essentially, see that that, oh, that yeah. guy. Oh, Osmosis Jones. Oh, it's oh, oh how it's going? Yeah, so oh, yeah, that right. that red guy is like a, he's the ba- he's yeah, the virus. He's, the virus. he's, he's killing the guy. shit. There you go. There they are. I've seen. Osmos- Osmosis Jones yeah. and the and the red pill guy. And the pill is trying to kill the virus. Whoa. And uh, the detective is trying to help him, but he doesn't really like the pill. So it's like a crime thriller, but inside someone's biology. I cannot yeah. believe you've not seen Osmosis Jones. No, I haven't. And Dude. it's it's also it's I, like I live action and uh, yeah, animated. Yeah, it's really good. But all the live action bits kind of suck. Right. I thought it was good. Remember the one live action bit where like uh, his he, he has a massive his, pimple? A massive pimple and it pops and goes all over that girl's face. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, good times. You guys are really selling me. You it's should good. watch it. You should really watch it. It's good for all. For, if you it, want to learn about the vaccine, I feel, you should really I feel watch like it. I, dude, I feel like all you have to do to you know get all the people in fucking Arkansas, and Mississippi, and Louisiana to get the fucking vaccine is just be like, okay, guys, sit down. We're gonna watch Osmosis Jones, and then we're gonna give you the jab and a well, free then, beer. Well, then why is the so, vaccine not a red and yellow pill? Dude, I'd take it if it was a red and yellow pill. I'd I take trust anything red and yellow pill. pills. Dude, yeah. what if, what if, what if instead, you know, to increase the, you know, or decrease vaccine hesitancy in like the South, the deep South of the U.S. They cut it with molasses. They could do that. <laughs> but they, they also like, they give them the needle. They're like, you don't want to take this dude. And then it's like, you know, you have like a needle that like is, is painted like camo and one that has like a bunch of cool like NASCAR stuff oh, I didn't on even it. see or feel it go in. That's yeah. crazy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking camo. I will say that when I got the shot, I didn't feel it at all. Like it was the most painless shot I've ever gotten. Was that the same for you? Well, the, the needle hurt. I'm really sensitive to needles. Like needles scare the fuck out of me. And this guy like, thinks he can any, find a goose. Any well, he's, he's American. He's like built up a resistance to shots. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it started in school. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a, but that's like, yeah, for. Like, I, I felt it go in, but it wasn't, like, fucking awful. It wasn't, like, getting numbed at the dentist. Mm. When I, they put it that, in, did they say, is it in? <laughs> I think if they did, <laughs> did that, I would be very it? alarmed. <laughs> like, is it in? I'd be like, what, what are you... <laughs> fucking... Feel anything. <laughs> is it in yet? <laughs> is it in? I don't feel it. <laughs> no, I was just, like, talking to my nurse, and we were just having a bit of a yawn, and then she was like, all right, you're good. And I was yeah, like, what? But, oh, but, you, you put it in. All right. But I heard that, like, they're doing it really fast, and it's making everyone's arms get all fucking bruised and fucked. Don't say that. <laughs> We're trying to encourage people to get vaccinated. <laughs> no, oh, boo hoo! Your arm is bruised. Yeah, it's just temporary. I, I, feel like just, I feel like that's just people complaining that it hurt their arm, which you know it does kind of hurt your arm afterwards. Yeah, yeah you feel sore for it's like a, a day. Or two does days. any shot do that though? It like hurts your muscles because they like shove the shit in. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, it, if you do it slowly, it hurts more. Like the injection, so you're supposed to stick it in like a dart and then inject but just the uh, fact that everything is working over there and that's where your immune response is kind of targeting yeah then yeah it's gonna hurt way more it's not gonna swell up or anything but it's gonna be like you had a it's like it's gonna be like you lifted weights like a like a, like a man like an absolute man or like you got pinched in the punch for the first of the month and no Ooh, returns no returns oh. yeah, remember that yeah, one. But what about yeah, the second vaccine uh what the second shot yeah wouldn't that be uh-huh. Well, returning? you have to get that a couple months later, so it would just be the same thing. Yeah, oh, sure, be, you can do it yeah. once a month. Yeah. Because over here, it's like a difference of 12 weeks between AstraZeneca and like four weeks for Pfizer. Mm. Something like that. So yeah, I have Pfizer kind of like... seems better. Anyway, the point is, guys, you should look into getting vaccinated if it's available to you. Seems like the call, in my opinion. Seems like the way to go. Seems mm. like it's the way to get us all out of this fucking yeah. hellish mess. If you want to stop being in lockdowns all the time, it kind of seems like the only option. Otherwise, it will keep coming back, and we will never achieve herd immunity. Look, it's fine. We're going to get herd immunity, and then the government's going to start controlling us through our vaccines, and we're going to become a herd. <laughs> it's They're going to turn us into sheep. It's going to be sick. Yeah. It's going to be sick. <laughs> They're gonna... totally going to look after us yeah. when we're sheep. We're all going to buy some blue berets. <laughs> what does that mean? It's going to be so that they know that the, the control's working. <laughs> the New Zealander, it somehow. New Zealanders seem pretty <laughs> excited to be sheep all of a sudden. I know, dude. Kind of worrying. Me, it's ingrained in their DNA. It's like they're waiting for the government to fuck them or something. Mm. I... <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Americans talking about getting fucked by the government. Uh, <laughs> how ironic. <laughs> the Americans talking about getting shot as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, well, yeah, guys. Get, boost your 5G signal, get, <laughs> get great reception anywhere you are. If, you're, if you become magnetic, let me know. Yeah, because cause that's why Swagger's chainmail is so, like, form-fitting. It's really tight. It's, it's magnetic. Like, it's, like, really tight can around my neck now. Uh, I, I can. I can breathe. I could breathe better than if I had COVID. So mm. get vexed. And, hey, you want to make your body a little bit more healthy? What if you're lacking a bit of energy? <laughs> Go over to gamersubs.gg and pick up some awesome gamer energy powder that you can use That's to improve your skills and improve your day and improve your mind. That's right. Improve it's, your immune system, improve your everything. It's keto friendly, it's sugar free, and also it tastes very, great. very yummy and delicious. And you could stick it in a waifu cup if you go to gamersubs.gg. And if there's any waifu cups available, they're going fast. But you could stick that right into a beautiful cup with big tits on it. Stick that um, right in that anime So, yeah, go, go to gamersubs.gg. Use code MISFITS for 10% off your order. And, yeah, thank you, Gamersubs, as always, for sponsoring the show and keeping us healthy and energized. Okay, this is thanks, fucking it. Thanks, <coughs> guys. Uh, what? I want to hear a funny story. Can yeah, I sure. <laughs> I'd love to hear a funny story. Australian meth addict dresses up as cop and raids another drug user's home. Two hundred IQ. <laughs> I'll say it again. Australian meth addict dresses up as cop and raids another drug user's home. You know that's illegal, right? To right. Uh, <laughs> to to impersonate a police officer. Yeah, I actually right. think it's also illegal to be a <coughs> meth addict. Uh, it's illegal to sell meth, but not to be an addict. Yeah, but this guy's robbing another drug user's home. It's kind of like a bit of Robin Hood, you know, justice going on here. <laughs> Literally, Robin Hood. <laughs> is it robbing him in the hood? An Australian man, Daniel Thomas. He's thirty-six years old. Ah, Danny. Uh, legend. And turns out it is illegal because he got sentenced to eleven and a half years in prison for this little. Feat. He's just having some crack. Him and his friend dressed as officers and <laughs> walked into an unlocked home demanding drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, along with his accomplice, stormed in the house and started shouting, This is a police raid. Get on the floor, face down. Where are your drugs? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine if that's how the police handled it. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but if you're just a drug user, you're going to be like, Oh, it's probably legit. <laughs> The two men in the house gave marijuana and crystal meth to Thomas and his accomplice, but Thomas believed they had more to offer. So they took matters into their own hands and beat one of the victims with a hammer until he passed out. Oh my goodness. What the fuck? fuck it, oh, very yeah, toxic. Toxic. <laughs> I'm still dude, smiling for some reason. Dude, that <laughs> is, that's toxic. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you do, do the voice for the next part. That's police brutality. This guy, Thomas says, we've killed your mate. Now tell us where the drugs are. They killed this other fellow with a hammer. <laughs> Oh what God. the fuck? Did he kill him or he didn't kill him? Did he, he said, we've killed your mate. Now tell us where the drugs are. Wait, what Implying did he say? That, he said, we've killed your mate. Now tell us where the drugs are. You're very consistent. Thomas yelled at the man in an attempt to elicit more information from him. Elict elicit? Yeah. Elicit. Elicit more this reads like a novel. In the search for more drugs, Thomas hit the other victim in the head with a hammer and had his pants pulled down and buttocks spread. <laughs> what is this article? <laughs> what the fuck did what? you send us? <laughs> Dude, this is turning into a fucking Fifty Shades of Grey novel. I really did read that correctly. After Thomas hit the other victim in the head with a hammer, he had his pants pulled down and buttocks spread. After Thomas and his friend had left, the police officers arrived. The scene was Wait, covered. Wait, the real police or the fake <laughs> the police? police Which one? And they're like, you already came! Get away! Get away! He's already took it! He's <laughs> fucking screaming. <laughs> the scene was covered in blood at the time, and the police took photographs of the victim's bodies. Following Wait, the same procedure dead? as if a murder had occurred. Yeah. The phony no, drug bust dead, occurred. Eh? Wait, why did they say as if a murder had occurred? A, a murder had occurred. No, no, because I think well, they just knocked him out uh, with a hammer. I don't know. But but anyway. It's really hard to kill a meth head. This guy, this guy uh, yeah, he pleaded guilty when he got caught. Oh, the that's good. The police tracked him down. He resisted arrest, lunging at an officer with a knife and shouting, You come near me, you fucking dog. You fucking dog cunt, and I'll stab you in the fucking head and kill you. Apparently, that's what he said. This, Damn. Seems, this seems made up. <laughs> this is, is this something you wrote, Mitchell? <laughs> no, this is from Bugged Space, and uh, apparently this happened in Victoria. Really? Uh, yeah, Ooh. in 2016. Oh, I wonder if okay. it was the guy that lives around the corner. <laughs> <Yeah, so. laughs> the, the dude who keeps trying to sell his speakers? Yeah. Speaking of? 
Apparently. If you want a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can do that after. We'll do that later. Thomas was injecting a couple grams of meth as well as using heroin and cannabis at the time. This is when the police officers <laughs> called him. legendary. These are the things that he was using when he yelled, you come near me, you fucking dog cunt, and I'll, I'll stab you in the fucking head and kill you. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like um, that. Yeah. Both victims had suffered lifelong complications and are unable to work as a result of the incident. These are the people that Thomas originally beat and stole his drugs. Right. According to Justice Paul Co Colin Thomas, uh, oh, Thomas attacked them in retaliation for something they had done to his girlfriend. Uh, so these, these two unfortunate meth users did something to Thomas's girlfriend and paid the price. Yeah. Fake drug bust. Mm. Hit them with a the hammer. What's this whole buttock spread business, though? It's Cavity search, mate. Looking for the drugs. It's the part I Cavity search. Yeah. I mean, it does kind of seem like that. Have you like seen that. Breaking Bad? They put in a condom. They shove it up their ass. Maybe he. Mm. Maybe that is what he thought. Maybe he was like, "I'm gonna look inside your asshole." Like I saw this in a movie drugs. once. Yeah. I don't believe it. I mean, people do be keeping <laughs> drugs up there. <laughs> He's like, "Where's your shit?" He's like, "In my eyes." Like, oh yeah. <laughs> spread. <laughs> he fucking grabs literal fucking shit mm. out of his ass. There's probably still some traces of meth in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna distill this shit. Wow, that was that was a really awesome, uplifting story, Mitchell. Thank you. You're right. I thought it was hilarious, dude. A very high IQ play with the pretending to be a cop. Yeah, that's yeah, smart. Very cool. I mean, it worked. Yeah. Very, uh, very interesting. I'm surprised he pled guilty. You would think he'd fucking plead not guilty. I mean, they just went a little overboard with the whole smacking them with a hammer. Yeah. And also, yeah. when the they cops arrested the him, he probably shouldn't have threatened to stab them in the fucking head, you dog yeah. cunts. He probably shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't no. have called them cunts. That's a bit rude. It yeah. is a bit rude. What part do you think yeah. he figured out that he might not be a real cop? Like when he asked him, he probably like gave when, him the weed and he like, hit him with a hammer. When he oh, I, imagine, him. I imagine he's like giving him like the meth. He gives him the weed and he's like, oh, yo, bro, what strain is this? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, oh, yeah, this is the good shit. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> no, but it, Wait, it, yeah, I, I'm surprised he didn't, <laughs> he didn't sue for police brutality. Yeah, well. It would be fucking awful. He probably was too afraid. I would have had my cell phone recording. I would have been like, I would have been like, this. I'm recording. I'm I'd recording. Be like, I'd be like, I'm a sovereign citizen. You're <laughs> entering my home. I'm a free traveler, and my meth is also a free traveler. <laughs> it's free it is traveling in my freely into my nose. <laughs> anyway, it's important in this day and age to keep your eyes on the uplifting news, the news that makes you feel good about the world. Yeah, like there's, there's just too much stuff out there that's making you feel bad. Yeah, yeah, too much bad news. Oh, uh, cases are rising. Oh. Uh, this person died. Oh, uh, this person didn't dress up as a cop and raid his f fellow meth heads. Uh, Boring. <laughs> Afghanistan. Oh, uh, you know. But now we have news <laughs> like this. Yeah. Yeah. And it just kind of brings you out of that. You realize you full circle. You realize the world is still funny. <laughs> you know. <laughs> there is still Florida man. <laughs> you are still Florida a, this man. This is a Victoria man right yeah, here. Local Aussie man. It's an Australian guy. If you couldn't tell by the fact that he called them. Dog, dog cunts. cunts. <laughs> Threatened to stab them in the fucking head. Yeah, because if dog. that happened in America, he would have just got shot. Yes, mm. rightfully so. <laughs> it probably would have been a better outcome. A better outcome? Yeah. Yeah, well, if the uh, if the original victim just shot the fake officer? Well, no, if, like, the, the police shot the guy uh, Thomas? With, with, yeah, with a knife, saying that he would st stab them in the fucking head, you dog cunt. Yeah. I think, you know, because... Well, because at least then you get like a wacky, cool, like live leak video out of it. <laughs> you don't believe in the power of rehabilitation in the society? You don't believe that Thomas can go to prison and become a changed man and re-enter <laughs> society? No. Why not? Why not? Because the prison system doesn't work like that at the moment. Do you know much about the prison system in Australia? No. That's what I fucking thought. Get dog cum. Is it actually? Shut the fuck up. Is it actually like that? Or? No, I have no idea. I have never been to prison. No never going to go to prison. Just do a vlog like that. <laughs> we, go to, we go to jail. Yeah. Scared straight. <laughs> scared straight. Ooh, misfits get scared straight. <laughs> what if they did like Toby? Like what really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toby goes back to being a man and is no longer related. What if they Toby's did? Toby's gonna be like the <laughs> warden there, just fucking <laughs> <laughs> in your cell. What if they did like scared gay? Yeah, scared. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where it's scared like you go gay. to prison and there's just a bunch of gay guys and they're like. Ooh, what do you mean you if? <laughs> what? So what do you mean if you go to prison and there's a bunch of oh, gay no. guys? There's well, almost no. definitely a bunch well, of gay yeah, guys. Well, yeah, there's probably there. a couple of homosexuals just kind of chilling, doing their own thing, painting their nails, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's just normal gay prison that's, stuff. That's normal gay prison stuff. Yeah, paint, paint nails and, you know. Eat each other's assholes. Eat each other's assholes. Drop soap every now and then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> what's the drunk thumb? <laughs> do you think there's actually? Do you think there would be any like gay guys in jail that would just like bluff that hard? Would no, gay like, guys can't get a, get like, arrested. Uh oh, I dropped the soap. <laughs> <laughs> and looking around like I don't think you so. See if anyone's there. <laughs> I think you those know? guys get beaten. I don't think there's actually any gay people in jail. It's a hate crime to arrest a gay person. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Dave Chappelle has this good bit about people in prison doing gay shit. He's like, I ain't gay. I'm just sucking these dicks to pass the time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Actually. Yeah, it like, does make know, sense. You're fucking in jail. What are you going to do? Not suck dick? Yeah. I mean, I probably would. Yeah. Think about it. Well, try once, twice, <laughs> maybe three times. Wait, what? And you're in the shower. You're getting it's clean. paid for it, mate. That's like a pretty much a salary at that yeah, point. Yeah, do you get you paid know? in like little bags of co ground no, coffee? like protection, you know? They're like, someone tries to jump you. Like, hey, no, not him. He gives good head. I was coming to save That's you. That's true. You need to <laughs> make, in prison, you need to make yourself yeah. irreplaceable. Mm. Say you go to jail. Work on your What's technique. the first thing you do? Walking into a prison. I beat up the biggest guy yeah, there. Same. <laughs> same. Wait, I'm the biggest guy there. Oh, shit. You beat up the second biggest guy there. <laughs> you beat up the widest man. The widest man. Wide, wide, mm. not white. The most wide. muscled. The most muscled. And tattooed. And Joe Rogan. Well, I don't know about that. It's not going to beat up Joe Rogan. No. Yeah. Yeah, a, Joe, a Joe Rogan analog. If Joe Rogan went to prison, he would just prune up because he would never sort it. Then it would just <laughs> sure, you just like start bloating because it's not going to blow. You'd have the opposite effect. It'd be too much moisture. <laughs> That's why he has to go in the sauna all the time because he just sweats profusely. Is this the know, thing? Like, Joe Rogan spend a lot of time in sauna. Yeah. It's like the <laughs> ultimate isolation tank. I don't know. I don't. I'm not even that in the loop with Joe Rogan these days. But the glimpses I see are just screenshots of him wide-eyed and red after being in the sauna. sauna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea uh, about Joe Rogan at the moment. Recently. Yeah, I haven't mm. looked into him in a while. I've been listening to his podcast using my scuffed JBL speaker. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is epic. I told you we come back to it. Mitchell, pull up the fucking JBL website. <laughs> <laughs> Anything God. for you, mein Führer? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I know you're German, but let's, you know, and I'm Italian, but let's not, let's not do that. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm worried now. Fuck. I shouldn't point it at yeah, like that Yeah, maybe don't either. point it at um, like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, so JBL has a, has, has a fucking speaker that you can use. In the shower. We can use in, it? In the shower. You in can a, use in it in the shower when you drop the soap in prison. In it's a, good. In oh, no, I dropped cell. my speaker. Oh, oh, no, I dropped my JBL. Oh, this is brand I dropped my JBL go to <laughs> scuff speaker. Is anyone going to me? Uh, here we have JBL go <laughs> midnight. Right love here us, for JBL. $50. JBL loves us. Wait, they absolutely $50? love us. If you are in Australia or New Zealand, then. Congratulations, you're eligible okay. to buy this. Either good quality, they're, they're great, it has a nice glossy finish. And if you want, go ahead and pick up your very own scuffed JBL speaker to listen to your favorite podcast, which is fucking us. It's us. It's fucking us. This is podcast, your favorite fucking podcast. Uh, uh, so yeah, go go grab it, you know, listen to it. And uh, yeah, thank you, JBL, for powering the, uh, the Mr. Podcast. I feel powered. Do you? Do you feel empowered? Mm. Let's go, JBL. <laughs> Thanks, JBL. That's, that's like the greatest tagline. It's just like, <laughs> let's go, brand name. Here. <laughs> Matt, let's you, go, Game of Subs. Matt, you prepared a bunch of uh, premises or questions, perhaps, earlier. Premises. Or, a bunch or, of or, or, or talking yeah. points, should I say. Questions I for the premises. show. I'm curious to be asked one. I'm at the edge of my seat. I Ooh. used to... Well, are we going to tell them how you got these? No. Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay, no, these I'm, are original thoughts. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I meant. Like everything on the internet. That, that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, okay. What is what is your most painful thing you've experienced? No, we're starting there. Physical pain. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So it has to be like emotional trauma. I mean, just like physical pain. You know. <laughs> Getting the vaccine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> First physical pain. Food poisoning, man. It's got to yeah. be. Really? That shit was awful. That well, was really in bad. terms of like pain for duration of time. Yeah, well, I had that it for was three the worst. Weeks. The worst physical pain I've been in for an extended amount of time ever, probably. Yeah, and it never let up. No, nah, it was just constant shitting and vomiting. Yeah, and was lying it? in bed wondering when it's going to end. <laughs> yeah, just or constant, on the constantly googling floor. what can I eat that I won't immediately regurgitate or shit out. But anyway, we've talked about this whole thing on the podcast a million times. It's basically our nine eleven. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Toby, <laughs> what's your, what's the, the, the worst pain I've ever been in. It wasn't like long. It was like a pretty short duration, but. Um, <laughs> When I got my teeth done, 
they I the dentist like whitened my teeth first mm. so that they could get the right like uh color, the right shade for the for the new teeth. Mm. And um th- you're meant to like when you get your teeth whitened at the dentist, I'm pretty sure you're meant to tell them when it starts to hurt so that they know to stop. Because mm. they obviously don't know when it's starting to hurt you. And I didn't know this. I'd never get I'd never got it done before. So they just kept going. And then I was and then it started to like really hurt and I was like, ah, it's a bit sore now. And they're like, okay, okay, great. You actually went for like way longer than we expected. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, okay, this isn't bad. I w- went outside and the wind on my teeth was genuinely the worst mm. pain I've ever experienced in my life. And it, it, it was like, like someone shoot, it shoots up your yeah, nerves. It's, it's into like your someone head. shoving a needle into your gums or something, like right up. It's just what if you close your mouth? It's it so sharp. And yeah, even with your mouth closed or anything, it was so bad. You should have chewed oh. on some ice. <laughs> so I, I, I literally just went home and I was like, this, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. And then I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go to sleep and hope that it's gone in the morning. And it was. Wow, mm. that was sucks deluxe. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. I yeah. should kill him later, Matt. <laughs> what's, your, what's the worst? Wait, kill me mean? later. Kill him. Oh, okay. it's, it sucks deluxe. <laughs> um, he didn't even say G after. Right, I know. It's kind I of know. cringe. Uh, for me, it was probably. Um, probably I was taking apart like when you first tried um, anal, right? Yeah, it's kind of painful. Yeah, definitely lube this time with the help. Yeah. Um, Motor oil. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. Whatever you got on hand. I feel like that's know? what Matt used the first time. <laughs> <knowing> Matt. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, rated for high temperature, so I thought the two would go together. Yeah, he's called a dipstick for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> this is hot, hot, hot. Jesus Christ. A motor oil enema. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways. Anyways, um, I was taking apart, like, a digital camera, and it had, um, like, one... Uh, that... With digital cameras, you don't need to get the film out. Yeah, I know. I found that out the hard way. Yeah. So I was opening it up, and it... <laughs> <laughs> they, had the, um, they had like a little battery, like a capacitor in there for oh. like the um, the flash circuit. So like when you hit the shutter, it'll do the flash. It needs like a lot of energy mm. really quick for that. And I like was messing around, accidentally touched it. And I didn't even realize it at the time. All of a sudden, like I felt my chair start to shake. And I thought my brother came up behind me and was just like fucking with me, shaking my chair. And then I realized I'm like, oh wait, I'm shaking. Oh fuck. And I like threw the thing across the table. You were getting it was weird. Like I, yeah. yeah. I, like I felt it. Like he I was didn't in the electric chair. Yeah. But, but were you weird. in pain or was it more of just like a crazy sensation? At both. Like I didn't feel it at first until I threw it and then I felt it. It was like, ah. Yeah, because it's, like, it's making everything yeah, contract. Because like, the thing oh. is, have you ever uh, been electrocuted? When you, when you break the contact, that's when it hurts, right? Yeah. Because so, yeah. that's. Have you ever been like properly electrocuted? Like yeah. legitimately? Well, so, like, electrocuted means you died fence. from it. So it's like oh, just zapped. Well, I guess zapped then. Yeah. But have you ever had an electric Wait, current electric, run electrocuted through? Electrocuted means you? death. By yeah, if you got right. electrocuted, you're fucking dead, uh-huh. is what the actual terminology means. I mean, you, you, you went to be an electrician or something, right? Yeah, yeah. So he knows. Like <laughs> so I try trust his expertise. Well, yeah, I touched but, electric fence too. That wasn't fun. No. <laughs> yeah, but, I've done that. So. But have you ever been properly like y- y- current going through your body and grounded? And it's like you, you like, or if you see somebody do it, they literally they yeah. clutch yeah. up yeah. and like they can't let go of it. I'm surprised you let go of it because people can't fucking let go. And like other people will go try to grab them, and then the curve will go through them too. And then yeah. they, so you have to, you either like need to get like a piece of wood and then push them off or whatever, or you like run and fucking drop kick them. <laughs> I go for that one because you it's see fun. someone standing out in the cold, just shivering, nice and cold. <laughs> I gotta save them. <laughs> <laughs> fucking drop kick, but you know it's it's fun. Mm. Drop kicking people who are getting electrocuted. Yeah. Captain Dropkick over here, <laughs> fucking saving the day again. Saving the day. Oh my goodness, Captain Roo. <laughs> um, well, there we go. That's I guess that's the what's the, what about, what's the pain. What's an, yeah, so well, what's I, what's I, your, your pain? Well. Oh, yeah, food poisoning. The food oh, poisoning right. for it us. Was, it was three. I feel three like weeks. that's definitely that. Just just because of maybe that was maybe a really... breaking. I broke my foot like two times. That that sucked, but it mm. was it was it doesn't. It wasn't as painful as or as food long. Poison, or as long. Yeah, that was the main thing. It's just how fucking. It's like you go to sleep and you wake up and you're still in hell, <laughs> <laughs> and you only sleep for thirty minutes. Yeah, that's how bad that was. And you wake up in a pool of sweat. Yeah, and shit. And you can't replenish any water. And you kind. Of, you, I was even more dehydrated than I am normally. <laughs> Do you want some water? Is that the crap? Yeah, for help? can I get some water? <laughs> this guy, I've never seen this guy drink a glass of water in his life. Can I get some water? You want water? Yeah. Well, just have some of this, you oh, moron. Oh, I offered you. you some. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, you can sit back down. Here's another question. <laughs> what single purchase improved your quality of life? It actually says improved, but I'm going to save Matt from the embarrassment well, of his, oh, of his Excel misspelling. Does it, yeah. Excel doesn't have a auto check. <laughs> Probably me. my wife. <laughs> Your, your wife that you yeah. purchased recently? Yeah. What thing is... Well, she also uh, brings it down. 
you know. Pre- she kind of is a bummer sometimes. She goes off and then sometimes goes. Sometimes down. you don't like your wife. Yeah. Even though you paid for her. Yeah, well, I didn't, you know, I didn't know the her before order? I bought her. Did you read but... the manual properly? Because a lot of guys get the wife and they don't read the manual because they're I fucking I don't need guys. to read the manual. Yeah, well, of course. I just fuck it. Of course you would say that. But then you start having problems and you're like, well, I wish I read it. Yeah, well, when, when, I, when I start having problems, I just put my dick in the, in the reset button. <laughs> Where's that? It's small. You, you got to hold it in. <laughs> Where's then, the reset and button? And you take it out. And then they, they that small refresh. hole you need a toothpick to hit? It's that hole uh, underneath the clitoris. Oh, yeah. Where the urine comes out, huh? No, no, below that one. Oh. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, what's the most, what's the, uh, you know. What's the best purchase that, that's improved your quality of life? I don't Honestly, mind. Honestly, as, de- mind as, well. as depressing as it sounds, probably my PC. That's that's fair. Yeah. I mean, that's you work a lot from that. And, yeah. You know, you know. I mean, not now as much, but like back when I when when I got it and like a few years afterwards, that was like a, a, a big mm. quality of life improver. For mm. me, it's my car. Oh, yeah, that's pretty mm, good. Yeah. It's like fucking, do I have to take Ubers everywhere? I have to spend five grand a year on fucking Uber. Yeah, yeah but you have to on Rego and insurance now. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But that's actually you know, a great point. I could still, you know, it's, it's, you know, during the pandemic as well, it's just like nice to be like, oh, if I need to go somewhere, yeah. I can go wherever and put whatever I want in my car. I could, you know, put you a bunch of drugs have in there. weird conversations with strangers anymore. That's like the best yeah, thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. You have to it's sit there so next good. to your wife and have those conversations. It's even worse. Yeah, yeah, way worse. You uh, Yeah, I mean, the car gives you freedom. Yes. USA. 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 <laughs> now, what about you? <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> you came up with the questions. <laughs> I know, I didn't even think about the answer. That's the funny part. Maybe, this is going to sound stupid, probably, probably a bidet. Game of probably what? Probably just a fucking bidet. Dude, like, think of, yeah, Think about it. A you bidet, take a shit yeah. every day. I should have one. If you should, it, like, treat yourself. You have a heated seat. Everything, you know. I've never used one of blow they, dries your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Really good. How worth. often do you re-wipe your ass, Toby? How often yeah, do you wipe yeah. your ass and you're this like, oh, this is fine. Do everything. And then you go for a walk and you're like, oh, I kind of have some swamp ass. It's either sweat or that's more shit that's come out of my asshole and now it's being smeared <laughs> across my cheeks. And then you're like, oh, well, now I need to walk into a fucking Walmart bathroom and get like half of their fucking one ply and try <sighs> to try to, to scrape all of this swampy shit off of my asshole every fucking day. <laughs> but now you have a bidet. Okay, and no, I mean, and no more swampy ass. You get a clean. I don't really get the swampy ass. Yeah. I don't think really I have that problem the same way you got that problem. I'm like, not saying I have the problem. He's got a bidet. Okay. <laughs> a bidet. Sure. Wait, so so with a bidet, is it just something that you put on top of your toilet, or do you need yeah, to buy it? Well, you, well, you can buy it. You, I bought one where it's like a yeah. whole like toilet seat. You just take the toilet seat off, put this yeah. on, and you like. Plug yeah. the water into it. Some, some of them are heated as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like heated. It'll fucking heat up the water. Blow and all dry that shit. your ass. Or you can just buy those like well, 10K toilets that have them built in. Ah, that sounds like up my alley. <laughs> up my ass. Like what I should just say, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> bidet, bidet is a good, good choice. Mm. Bidet to I you, respect sir. it. I respect it. Don't, I, don't, I don't respect you for that. <laughs> That's fair. Did you answer? No. I don't really. Man, like, this is going to sound silly. But in terms oh, of I just like said a toilet seat, it can't be silly. In terms right? of like cost for the value it's given my life, I would honestly say Spotify Premium. Just yeah. the ability to be able to listen to any music I want without ads all the time. Yeah, true. Remember back so before that it. even existed? So worth. Like, what oh. were you doing before that? Like iTunes. I would like download. I would like torrent songs, songs torrent and then, then I would like add shit. the album covers and shit. Like it was such yeah, a process. Yeah, shame. Now I just have infinite access to the music of the past and current, and it's just fucking that's fair, incredible. Yeah. And I don't yeah. have to listen to ads. Yeah, and, and that's not just because we work with Spotify. That's true. But if you're on Spotify and you don't have premium, and you can maybe afford it, I would say get it. It's fucking worth. Absolutely, you can listen to your favorite podcasts. Yeah, there's nothing like when you're like jamming out to the music and just having a real good vibe, and then it gets interrupted by. A, Are you enjoying the music? By an ad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a ad. Where's Toby on the telly talking? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> do you like, we did those do you like podcasts? <laughs> yeah, we, we did all those fucking little Do you like rolls. finances? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I forgot about those. What, here's one. What one invention would you remove from the world? Oh, dude, I just thought of one. It was awful, but it's so funny. Did you think so, of women as well? No. <laughs> I was thinking of tampons. Uh, I just think it would be funny. Uh, Oh, Bro, dude. No, I can't say it. Say it. We'll see. What, what, we'll see. What's your reaction? This, Just is say a, it. this is a joke. The cotton gin. 
The cotton gin? <laughs> Dude, it's the thing that stopped, like, it was the one invention that literally stopped slavery. Oh, uh, because it was automated? Because, yeah, it automated, like, you know, cotton harvesting, so you didn't actually, need a no, bunch of Actually, no, it's the slaves. other way around, mate. It actually, like, ramped it up. Cotton gins is, like, what weaves it together, not what, like, harvests it. Oh, I guess that's true. So, yeah, it scaled it up. It made slavery worse. Well, so, like, well, we need more fucking cotton now. In which case, that's a really good, good thing, Swagger. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, to... well, then it's not as bad as I yeah. thought. The, the initial <laughs> knee-jerk reaction to, like, what, what's the worst invention to remove uh, was, it would actually be a good thing. Mm. But, no, I would probably say... <laughs> Probably not the kind gym. <laughs> I'd probably say not I'd, the kind gym. I'd probably say Fortnite. Nah, I wouldn't say Fortnite. Probably. Fuck, dude. I that's don't hot. Know. That's hot. The thing is, just like you, you know, the knee-jerk reaction is like, well, remove social media because the w- the smarter that our phones get, the dumber that we get. <laughs> nah, like, fuck that, dude. Can't remove. Makes me money. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. What would what would be maybe like cigarettes? Only fans. That's a good one. I'd say cigarettes yeah. is a pretty good well, one. Uh, but uh, keep the vapes. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Just, Please just fuck the middle man goes straight to vapes. Like, vapes were invented, and then it's like, oh, nicotine, this is a thing. Hmm. You know? The female vote. The female <laughs> vote. <laughs> I can agree with you there. <laughs> Took them ages to invent that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, that implies that they're still real. You don't think they're not like just throwing those out immediately afterwards? Yeah, they're like, they're like, oh, this was written. Yeah, but they're allowed to do <laughs> it, you know. Oh, this person wrote uh, Hillary Clinton with a little, uh, with a little heart for the eye. The handwriting's too neat. That Throw away. that one. Ladies yeah. first vape. It's a little, little Fisher Price toy. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Ladies first vape. Uh, vote. Vo- you said vape. Oh. I was like, what is oh, that? Oh, mean? <laughs> Ladies first, first vote. Ladies first vape sounds like a really shit children's book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't not, know. Cigarettes is a damn good one, to be fair with yeah. you. Because yeah. uh, there's not that many inventions that have been made that really have fucked up humanity. Oh, and gas it's single use plastic. <laughs> like the single, like, that's pretty bad. That's plastic like, wraps. And oh, shit like yeah. That. Plastic. Single use plastic that's, that's would be, would be huge. One. That would definitely have altered our timeline a lot. Yeah. I mean, just. Maybe think, they would have figured out how to have, like, proper straws now rather than the shit paper ones. Metal. Bro, figured something metal. Out. Yeah. Something. What about a rubber straw? Petrol powered cars. I feel like it would taste rubbery, no? I have a little taste to it. I mean, it, it'd be fine. But come on, a rubber straw. What are you gay? <laughs> Use a plastic <laughs> one, pussy. <laughs> what, you like sea turtles? Fucking ribbed and everything? <laughs> ribbed. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they actually have ribbed plastic straws. They do. <laughs> yeah, fuck. For ribbed his and her pleasure. Yeah. Hmm. You can curve it in just the right way for you. Mm. My, my point is, is that there's not many inventions that come to mind where you're like, yeah, yeah. that's really fucked up humanity for the worst. Like, it's not like there's evil scientists making shit inventions to fuck with what us. What about some medieval shit they came up with, you know? Oh, That well, shit was all awesome, though. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> kind of sick. <laughs> shit was fucking so cool. I'm going to stick with gas chamber. I'll stick with Siggy's. Mm. If Mason were here, he would disagree. Nah. Siggy's is a good one. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, let's just move on, huh? Yeah. yeah. What is the worst fan base? Ours. Misf- oh, maybe <laughs> no, <too much. laughs> ours is okay. They're just kind of like in ours hiding. Ours is having a good crack, I reckon. Yeah, yeah no, I, don't, I don't dislike our fan base. Yeah, they're they're okay. You guys yeah. you guys are okay, right? Can the we get a round of applause? Fan-wise. Get a round of applause for the most patient fucking people in the world? You guys are pretty patient, and I'm not going to applaud that. How does it sound like uh, Mitchell? Will you? They could wait for it. They could wait for the applause. Over there? I gave it a clap. <laughs> oh, okay, I was confused why there was. Why it sounded like there was two people clapping, but I could only see one person clapping. I, I think that's great. called an echo. <laughs> no, like who who does have the worst fan base though? It's hard to say because fan bases are such elusive things, and you only really ever see well, no, the, the noisiest it's... minority of them. And normally, the ones that are the most annoying are just the most young, and that's okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I got one. The mm. Apple fanboys. They're so fucking annoying. Uh, yeah, it's true. Because fuck it's like kind of everything. Anyone who stands a conglomerate is just fucking uh, uh, just cringe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyone who stands, what about the stands social a huge justice warrior billion dollar base? company. <laughs> what? Social justice warrior fan base. It's not really a fan base. No, like, who's the like one the fucking, Who's people. the one the LGBTQ plus? Yeah, that yeah, fan base. That fan base. <laughs> oh, I Don't see. be a fan of that. I what? just think, I think any anybody that like will just strip away their identity and replace it with with something that they enjoy and have that be their hyperfixation is just unhealthy in general. So true. can I just say all of them? Can yeah, I just say true. like any Every fan, fan base, base that just people just get super obsessed with? What about your have, fan base then? Well, I don't have a lot of fucking people that are like you like insane. Have you looked like, at your Discord? No. <laughs> <laughs> but Discord's different. <laughs> Discord's very different. Recent Discord. Discord literally, has the worst fan base. Literally everybody's <laughs> Discord is a shithole. 
even the ones that I was, even the fucking, like, the one time Among Us Discords I was invited to are, are you know, barren wastelands with just filth, you know? Yeah, I mean, anyone who takes an external thing that they're, that they have an unhealthy obsession with and puts it at the forefront of their identity and personality, that's unhealthy to me. Mm -hmm. That's like, or at the very least, kind of cringe. Yeah. It's like, get a, get a fucking real identity. Yeah. Slug. It's someone else's. Yeah. <laughs> Discord mod. Yeah, I'm going with Discord. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would say, you know, because like the easy ones are like, oh, BTS, or oh, Dream Stands, or oh, uh, literally fucking any little retards that are online <laughs> that are just fucking trying to tell adults how to live. Like, you know, yeah. it's all fucking annoying, but it's all noise. Like, I, they're, they're noise. all fucking annoying. They're all fucking awful. Yeah. But you know, it's just the it just really like you, know, you can be a fan of something, but not be a, <laughs> not be obsessed. Yeah, what we're talking about is just being obsessed and opinionated, which are both shit things to be. Yeah. So, fuck you if you're like that. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you. you. Fucking, fucking prick. Fucking prick. Fucking right. stupid person. We love you, Misfits fans. At least I do. Speaking of fans, <laughs> only fans, which rose the popularity among sex workers. If you guys oh, really? If you guys really? Didn't know. Uh, as a place to sell nude and ex sexually explicit content, if you can explicit, believe, explicit like what they put on. You know, you know when you buy a like a rap song, you buy a rap song on iTunes and it says explicit. Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's so like cool. Should, should, should we not say iTunes? Well, well recently they announced this uh, new policy banning any kind of that content on their platform. No more sex content. People no, like, they reversed that. Yeah, well, that's what the whole article is about, Captain Spoiler. Oh, Bro. fucking dick. Dude, <laughs> dude, you just fucking revealed my secret identity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> my days of fighting happiness in, in any kind of media is over. <laughs> fighting happiness and anticipation. Yes, but they have reversed it. Did like they reverse they it or did it just not ever, was it never true? Snape killed Dumbledore. <laughs> so only fans tweeted, thank you to everyone for making your voices heard. We have secured assurances necessary to support our diverse creator community and have suspended the planned October 1 policy change. Only fans stands for inclusion and we will continue to provide a home for all thoughts. No, they said, <laughs> 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 they said all creators. Uh, for um, all thoughts. Our thoughts and prayers <laughs> go to the only things. But yeah, no, it's yeah. official. They've reverted the whole no more sexy time on the platform. Thank God. Because people got I really mean, upset about it. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> people got really upset about it, you know? Which, you know, maybe they're right for that. I don't fucking know or care. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm just, just a some, talking head on the news. I just read shit. You know, just imagine, imagine. <laughs> I just like, read a teleprompter. You know. <laughs> <It's> just. <laughs> I just say the words they tell me to say. <laughs> no, but OnlyFans is a great platform. I jerk off a lot, and yep. I'm glad they're reverting this change. You know, wow. but you know, I, I'm not. I'm not surprised by like the backlash because imagine like a bunch of like fucking horny eighteen year olds going like. <gasps> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it was so much the horny eighteen year olds that were upset. I think it was the creators, oh, the diverse community. So imagine of, a bunch of like twenty three year old girls that you know from high school and who are selling their bodies online. They'd be like. <laughs> There was a lot of that going on for yeah, sure as yeah. well. Yeah. Precisely. There was. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't really see a lot of the noise on social media about this. Mitchell, did you see a lot of the noise on oh, social dude, media? My Twitter feed was so full of it, I bro. I bet it was. Like, what, because what, what, the only people you follow are only fans creators. No, I follow like maybe 20 or 30, but like it was all of my Twitter feed. I don't think I even know 20 or 30 people. <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm joking. Wait, so Mitchell, do you think there was a legitimate reason for people to be upset about OnlyFans making this change? I don't know what's fact or what isn't fact anymore because like apparently it was because of like payment processing and stuff. Yeah. Um, and like them wanting mm. like investors and investors wouldn't like invest yeah. in a sex platform. Mm. Just for some context for the, for the viewers who may not be familiar with our, uh, one of our producers, Mitchell, he is an OnlyFans kind of sure. How many, how many OnlyFans? <laughs> Why don't you just introduce him as a fucking virgin? Yeah, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell, yeah, Mitchell can you tell, sex, yeah. can you tell, can you tell the audience how many OnlyFans subscriptions what? you have? Um, I think only like one or two right now. How many did you have at once? Um, not as many as a lot of people. I don't really. <laughs> oh, that's, a good, that's a good answer. <laughs> All right, we can leave it there. We can leave I'm it there. I'm pretty good with my money. I, uh, you know, OnlyFans gets maybe ten to fifteen dollars a month, and if I'm feeling extra cheeky, I'll buy a forty dollar pay per view and regret it immediately. I reckon. <laughs> I reckon a couple years ago. <laughs> Fair enough. I reckon a couple of years ago, if I look back through my bank statements, I'll probably be able to find a month where I spent. At least a thousand dollars on you splurged and splooged, oh. yeah. splurged, splooged, and sp 
Yeah. <laughs> it was <laughs> wet. <Sperm. laughs> but, but OnlyFans is like, I feel like OnlyFans isn't a consistent thing. You know, I feel like it's one of those things that you're just like, I might just go on OnlyFans. But it's like not something you do like every month or like every week or anything. You're it's saying it's not of, a lifestyle. Yeah, I don't think OnlyFans is a lifestyle. I, I think, think that you're wrong. I think Pornhub's more of a lifestyle and OnlyFans is like something that you dabble in when, you, when you're kind of curious. Well, it's just because Pornhub's strike. free. Yeah. Well, you want to see what, you know, some of your friends from high school are up to. That's the only reason. Do you have OnlyFans. friends from high school that have OnlyFans uh, accounts? A lot of people do, but I'm sure, I'm sure there are many people from my high school that, that are, you know, only fanning and, and well into their 30s. Yeah, you're probably right. One of my old roommates has an OnlyFans. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Mm. How old is she? You said old. <laughs> 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 late, late 80s. Fuck, that is old. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I bet there's a do good you, market for that. Do you get like a senior <laughs> discount at that point when you check out? Well, I, I don't, but she probably does. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> shit, it is, It's a senior checkout when you look at it. It's <laughs> checking out a senior. Damn, what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, anyways. I don't yeah. know. Like, they just cl they wanted to move to more of a Patreon model so that they have more like legitimate advertiser-friendly content shortly, right? Yeah, but why? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and everyone got up in arms about this they're because like, it was like only... they're abandoning the community that built them, which is fucking yeah. sex. We only made $5 billion this year. We need more investors. Hmm. Said yeah, OnlyFans. It, it, it is weird. Like, it <laughs> yeah, seems right? like a terrible business decision. It seems it's like PR, maybe, maybe, maybe they just think... want to evaluate their company so they could fucking have it be acquired. They can make a big, big fucking fat stack. I don't know. I th it's definitely one of those things where it doesn't matter how big these platforms get. You'd be surprised at how little they make. If if anything, OnlyFans probably doesn't make shit. Probably like all these other social media companies. That <laughs> you reckon? That. I don't know, man. Yeah, but like, the other social media companies. A lot companies... of these companies don't make profit. But Bro, I know Twitter that... is like broke. You see the shit they try to advertise? Yeah, but, but like, like premium. But, but I know that... those social medias don't have a way that they're actively... How like bring in transactions? Yeah, yeah. Whereas OnlyFans, only they, they have like can a just, cut, right? They can take a percentage of every transaction. Yeah, that's true. I just wonder if it's an, if they take enough yeah. for it to actually. Yeah. Who knows? Because they, it's a it's a huge company. They have to deal with a lot of fraud because just oh, chargebacks and all oh. like this sort of like in any like sex working industry, there's all sorts of fucking fraud. Fraud. And gonna, yeah. You think Server of the costs, post employee not costs. regret chargebacks they get? How do you oh, prove? True, dude. I, I wonder what the vetting process is like to make an OnlyFans. Like, how do you, do you, do you have to prove that you are? The, the person you claim you are. Oh, because you could just post nude, someone else's nudes on OnlyFans. Up, you know. Oh, you could. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they, maybe there's just one guy that's like, all right, give me your ID. All and right, show now, me a now, yeah, let me see your pussy and your titties, and yeah. let me make Have sure this, this checks make out. Make sure your passport is in clear view of the camera, <laughs> right next to your pussy. Okay. Yeah. Put it <laughs> right above. View. No black and, or white has to be colored. And make sure that your address is visible. Yeah. Yeah. Your your vagina needs to be taking up eighty percent of the frame. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can't accept it. No hair. You have to be clean shaven for yeah. the photographs. No. And clothes. we need four printed photos. <laughs> <laughs> and signed when, uh, and like, laminated yeah <laughs> oh, in a frame man. laminating it that's smart you know that'll keep it durable for years precisely yeah you don't have to worry about you know staining it yeah with coffee yeah or cum no not that oh I mean uh, coffee yeah coffee <laughs> precisely sure this is the world we're living in women and their only fans and men and their cartoon JPEGs of monkeys yeah it's when just... are the, when are the two worlds gonna collide oh and, and have naked NFTs. Bored <laughs> ape. I'm fucking bored of that ape shit. <laughs> We're on the bricks now, bro. You're the behind. Shit out of me. Well, what is this? What is a what we, is the brick we, thing? We oh, look. I a brick for fucking forty-five thousand dollars, guys. Oh, we're, we're going to the moon with it. Oh, 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 look! By the way, I have fucking four little poor apes. Oh, this guy's got a hat. Oh, this one's smoking look, the joint. I get that you're sick of hearing about it, but you can just not listen. And you're just, also gonna look like just, an idiot in forty years dude, when people will replay that fucking, clip and everyone else is rich off cartoon just, apes. Just be <laughs> and you're just this old we're man. Li we're living in a in. fucking acid trip. It is, it is bewildering. But what you're experiencing right now is what every person experiences as they get older. It's called getting left behind. Old man. You know, old man. What you're doing is just shaking your fist at the sky of technology <laughs> as it takes over everything you know and love. You're going to be bewildered when you're old. Like, what is going on? And you're going to be all upset and insecure and angry about it. Meanwhile, these young kids are buying JPEGs of apes and fucking living it up. Buying yeah, mansions. A 12-year-old scamming uh, $400,000? Wait, was it, it, was it, it actually it, a scam? It's not a scam. <laughs> it's not a scam. We were just joking about it oh, being a scam we? before the podcast. This is actually probably a very initi uh, like smart 
initiative filled 12 year old who has managed to make four hundred thousand dollars off yeah. of blockchain like, technology this is this, you know, like, we <laughs> should, you're just we, called it a scam because you're fucking don't understand nfts dude because it's how the fuck am i supposed to understand that shit <laughs> How the, the same fuck way am people, I supposed to understand? Yeah, this this fucking stupid brick image. It's called keeping it's worth educated. Three hundred thousand fucking dollars. Maybe instead it'd be like, why are people paying three hundred thousand dollars for a brick? It's so stupid. You should try to understand it so that you can make millions. Like I can understand. <laughs> I can. I, under, I understand why like fine art is so expensive. It's so the rich can money launder. So all I'm yeah. doing is yeah. looking at this, same and I'm shit. like, this is just virtual money laundering. Uh, sure. Yeah. You're just an ignorant activist like the rest of them. I'm not even an Shaking activist. Your I just look at it like and I don't understand like you're about and I think the it's biggest. fucking stupid. You're acting like you're about a taxes. better cause, but really is, you're just ignorant. If I see another fucking profile picture turn into a stupid fucking 16 by 16 pixel art, I'm going to I'm gonna fucking... Why, why does it bother you? And It really does. I'm just yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're just playing a bit of uh, back and forth uh, devil's advocate action going on here on the Misfits <laughs> podcast. This is what they do on real TV. They just act yeah. upset at each other and afterwards yeah. we count our money. It's good fun. That's, <laughs> this is like YouTube drama. <laughs> no, hey, really. dude, at least Yeah, we should call this something like, um, like uh, frenemies or uh, or I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. This no, the number one. Welcome, welcome back to show. I fucking hate you. It's the show where. Uh, <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Fuck you! Yeah, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> Uh, today's episode is brought to you <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by gamer subs and jbl speakers yeah we mentioned them they don't pay us to say it twice oh, I hurt my hands even. <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's enough for this whole nft oh wait well the article about the 12 year old's yeah, so maybe is, i should I read that it. let's, let's bring it up this 12 year old coder is set to earn <laughs> over four hundred thousand dollars after two months selling nfts genius wow his first NFT collection, which he launched earlier this summer, consists of 40 colorful pixelized avatars called Minecraft Yeeha. All right, this kid's fucking scamming us. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Uh, Minecraft Yeeha that I created after spending too many hours playing Minecraft, Ahmed says. Um, he created these artwork and coded each himself. So, the, I don't know, we're just talking about a kid here who's made some NFTs and he's Wait, selling he them coded for fucking them? tons. Yeah. Is this just some boomer saying that they coded him? He began to, think, yeah. he began to code, code Weird Whales, his second NFT collection, which featured 3,350 3, pixelated whales, each with distinct traits. The project fused together a sort of meme using the images of a whale with traits similar to that of the iconic pixel... Okay, so kind of similar to the CryptoPunk thing, whatever the fuck. Anyway, this kid's made a shit ton of money off of this stuff. I think memes have significant value in this space as a lot of <laughs> projects have some kind of meme link to it. Well, I guess like the main <coughs> thing is novelty. Yeah, but yeah. novelty wears off. It does, but there's also, I think there's something to be said about the history of memes and yeah. looking back to 200 years and thinking like, remember that meme? That really well, real impact on culture for that one month in 2021. Didn't, didn't people try to make um, like the original like rage face, like rage comic faces into, into NFTs? Would not surprise me at all. Would yeah. not surprise me at all. Oh, did they do that with the uh, the Charlie bit my finger video? They yeah, actually they did. It. They deleted the Charlie bit my finger video, and made That's it an good. NFT. I mean, like we okay. could talk about them as like you're just paying three hundred thousand dollars for an image, but what you're really doing is you're paying three like thirty thousand dollars for a collectible. Yeah, and it's a certified collectible that is legitimate only to you at this yeah. time. And if like you know, like there's only a finite amount of them. And if you own one of them and it's worth this now, it could very well be worth a fucking way more in the Look, future because that's how collectibles dude. work. Like people collectibles been, are insanely sorry. valuable. People have been dropping fucking tens of thousands of dollars on Hundreds. digital collectibles for like t years. Or even on Counter Strike skins. Yeah. Okay, but the difference with that, like that is is they have inherent value behind them. CS:GO skins had value because you could use them in game. Yeah, but people paid money. Yeah, but that's there's ways you can use or, NFTs. Or, or, or there's no them. way you can use yes, them. Yes, there, yeah, there is. Can you gamble NFTs? Uh, I don't I'm, know. No, they will point, probably be point, <laughs> point, point there. Exactly. <laughs> fucking point. With, no, the with, point with, is with like CSGO skins, you can fucking put that shit on, on coin flow. Yeah, but I mean, that's like what you're talking initially. about art. You're talking about art now. It's like, well, there's no valuable for paintings because what you're going to yeah. do is look at them. It's like, yeah, that is the entire value well, summed up. Like, that's what it is. It's digital art. It's digital collectibles. It's like, what's the value of a Pokemon card if you're not going to play with it? Well, it's because it's a collectible art. It you owns know. a couple NFTs. It probably does. Yeah. With, yeah, with, with, art, I'll with see you guys art. with my three houses. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> with most traditional art, you can also look up a JPEG of it online. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What's the difference, you know? Yeah, but the the difference is that you're certified own it, and you yeah, own no, no, one no, of no, the no, certified no, no, owned no, nothing. I'm, I'm agreeing with there's nothing yeah, behind yeah. it. Yeah, well, there's nothing behind anything. Everything's meaningless if you look at it. Okay, like that, you know? here's an example. 
Toby, you remember how OP Skins was like a marketplace where you could sell CSGO skins for real money? Yeah. At one point, they got banned and they couldn't sell CSGO skins anymore. So mm -hmm. then they came up with these wax tokens, which are pretty much the same thing as NFTs, but years before. Whereas like, yeah. they couldn't actually do anything related to CSGO, so they made their own fake skins. Like, mm -hmm. they'd take a random weapon and throw a skin that they designed on it and try and sell it for real yeah. money. And people are like, this is dumb. There's no, you can't use them in game. There's no real value behind but because them. They still oh have value. Yeah, they crashed. It went nowhere. But they crashed eventually. But, you know, but, but what they I'm saying is that. They didn't have a, a thousand fucking YouTubers and influencers going like, hey, look at my profile picture. Look, you know, we're legitimizing this. Mm. And then, you know, that drives the value up. And the thing is that, yeah, there are many NFTs that are going to be worth nothing in yeah. the future. Like, I'm not saying that every NFT created is going to go up in value. Yeah. I'm saying that there's some that are because they're legitimate collectibles. And they will, they will. The year of I mean, I'm, I also think it's incredibly likely that the NFT bubble is going to pop soon mm. and they're going to. I think it's just tank. the new it's But the new I also think that it'll probably it's pick up. It's all, it's all what? I just think it's just like the new age beanie babies. It's like, I think it's any, it anything be, that's bro, made. You know, but, but beanie babies go so fucking hard, man. <laughs> beanie babies okay. go fucking yeah, hard. Like, everyone, that's says made. They, everyone says they won't, but then like in a hundred years, when all the people who had them start remembering them and think, oh man, I'm. I'm <laughs> okay, okay, wait a few years. Just like what happened them. with Pokemon, like legitimate <laughs> franchises that just become legendary because of their history. In a hundred years, when people are rubbing <laughs> sticks together after the Third World War, and you're like, oh, remember the good old days when I had those NFTs? It's a shame. It's a shame the robots fucking uprised and, <laughs> and, and, and my computers became self-aware and just deleted all my NFTs because they knew it was fucking worthless. <laughs> yeah. All, that, that all I'll happen. close with is anything that's made for the sake of being collectible doesn't really have value. But it's, it's going to crash someday. It's odd. Art Some doesn't of it crash. Is. Yeah, but art's like tangible though. That's the dip we're getting like really. Well, art is like, art, art it's tangible you know? in the same, like in the, by principle though. You know what I mean? What like, is? I don't really see the difference between art and NFTs. You know, you I could have an NFT framed on your wall. Yeah. You know, you know the idea of art, like art, art is just yeah. anything that elicits an emotional response and, upon viewing. It. I got, and I, I got I, an emotional I, response. This is fucking stupid. Exactly. Maybe it is art. So it is art. Maybe it is art. So it is art. We have established that NFTs are art. Make sure you buy my new <laughs> NFT collection. <laughs> Um, uh, crypto swagger, the well, swagger punk helmets. I mean, yeah. so, all, I, I, all I'm saying is that at the beginning of anything that's uh, changed the world drastically, there were a bunch of people calling us stupid at the start. I mean, more and more fair, of fair. people's mm. lives are being moved online. Like, there's so much shit that people are just doing online because online you can do a lot cooler shit than you can do in real mm. life if you don't have the means to do it in real life. Yeah, right? think about like all like the VR. Spaces. Yeah, what about like, oh, come VR, see my VR house? It's yeah. got all these NFTs and rare art and shit. Yeah, you know? that that people are doing <laughs> yeah. that. People have like mm. their VR their VR houses and it's filled with their <laughs> NFTs. Well, you know, yeah, it's, it's, we're in the digital age. Time. Yeah. yeah, you know, you time could catch you, up. you could live in a one room apartment and but 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 own a mansion in Second Life that's worth thousands. <laughs> That's right, man. Just <laughs> just put me in the VR goggles, hook me up to the auto blower, feed yeah, me a bunch of drugs, and just give me dopamine shit. all day, every day, until yeah, yeah. I die. Give me that dolphin pussy. Give me that yeah. dolphin pussy juice, baby! Okay. It's probably I, a good I way to die. I think we only talked about the dolphin pussy juice during the pre-show. As we should have. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just to supply context. I don't think dolphin, it needs Dolphin context. pussy's fire Dol is what dolphin, saying. Dolphin pussy juice apparently can elicit a response that will or make you orgasm so hard you'll actually die. Potentially. Potentially die. Yeah, I read it on Reddit so you know it's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know if it's true. All I wrote is that dolphin pussy juice is flames. And uh, apparently like... <laughs> When a dolphin puts his cock inside the pussy of another dolphin, man, he just comes in buckets. Just comes. And apparently they tested the pussy juice on the penis of a primate, and he came so hot he died. <laughs> <laughs> now, did I read this while high on Reddit? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Does that mean it's not true? No. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's up in the air, just the way I like everything. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Thanks. And I like when that went up in the air. You yeah. don't know where it's going to land. Who knows? Uncertainty is art. Art is life. This is the Misfits Podcast, bringing you fresh insights in technology, lifestyle, and entertainment. Dolphin, and dolphin pussy. biology, anatomy. <laughs> We're reaching the end of the show. Are we? We could continue speaking. Mm -hmm. I have we? a couple more articles on my phone. You want to go? You have a one, more, one more for the road, huh? Okay. This is a really funny one. <laughs> TikTok is using Trek porn to fight anti-abortion <laughs> website. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Say that again? TikTok is using Shrek porn to fight anti-abortion website. Shrek, oh, we did hear that. Shrek, right. okay. Shrek. There's a Vice article. And a, okay. An, an anti-abortion group 
set up a website to enable Texans to become anonymous pro-life whistleblowers that is now being beset by trolls, including at least one welding Shrek porn. <laughs> what kind of Shrek porn are we talking? That's a great fucking question. Can we pull up some of the, uh, <laughs> some oh of the TikToks? The website created by a powerful anti-abortion group, Texas Right to Life. You guys heard of that? Apparently they're very powerful. Was meant to take advantage of a new law in Texas that's scheduled to take effect on September 1st. That's like two days time. Under the law, abortion could be banned as early as six weeks into pregnancy. Into, uh, oh sorry, before many people even know that they're pregnant. Ooh. But in an unprecedented legal maneuver, the Texas government won't be enforcing the ban by itself. Instead, people will be allowed to sue individuals who may have helped a patient get an abortion in violation of the ban. Someone who lost such a lawsuit could pay damages of at least ten thousand dollars, as well as attorney Wait, fees. Wait, so you could what go? The fuck, got a bunch of abortion <laughs> abortion vigilantes. In Texas yeah, no, now? But, but you could fuck. go and get an abortion, and then sue the person that gave you the abortion, claiming that they gave you an abortion when you actually shouldn't have been allowed. What it. the fuck is the point of it's like? It's a money print, dude. IRL what, money dude, glitch. What What the fuck is the point of like? You know, you're you're a pregnant woman and you're six weeks pregnant and you know then you're like, oh shit, I can't take care of this child. I'm gonna abort it. Whatever the reason is, is they're right. And then they go and do that, and then they get sued, and then the stress of the lawsuit gives them a miscarriage, like. You know, That's smart. <laughs> that, Texas found a workaround. Yeah. Thanks, Texas. What, what if you just miscarry in the first place and someone sees it and they're like, oh, you got an abortion. Nah, it's fine. In Texas, you're allowed to open carry anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> miscarry. Mitchell, can we pull this article up? Because my phone died and I want to know how TikTok comes into play with all this because we never got there. Yeah, so, uh, oh wait, let me move the server. Oh. But, um, yeah, it looks like they had this this anti-abortion group has a website. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, damn. Is. Yeah, so I assume the way the website works is you can upload your evidence. And yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. And this this TikTok is like uh, he's showing uh, that he's just uploading Shrek porn. Instead. <laughs> oh my god. Well, yo, I, I salute that. God bless you, mate. That's incredible. Just, just spamming that is, them. That is like... Flooding the system. How does he have over 10 whole Shrek porns? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they Bro, you, tease. You sounded old as fuck as then. <laughs> Bro, you just get a torrent. He's got 10 whole Shrek porns on his, on, on his uh, mobile phone. I've only ever been able to find three. Dude, no way. Shrek dropped a new NFT collection. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. Shrek porn. Yeah, they can just upload it. Because, yeah, they've got, like, a report function on this anti-abortion website. We yeah. can, like, <laughs> dob in, Spam the fuck dob in your, your classmates who got fucking abortions when yeah. they got pregnant at 16. My friend Shrek, <laughs> look at this guy. He's definitely getting abortions. Man, I don't mean to make, a, uh, make any kind of comment about abortion. You know, I'm not really a guy who takes political stances or, or knows shit about fuck, but, man, fuck anti-abortion groups. That shit sounds kind of gay. <laughs> I can agree with you there. That's the best way to insult them too, because they would yeah. hate being gay. They would yeah. hate that. They're like, I'm, I'm not gay. I'm guys. Straight to I'm not gay, bro. <laughs> guys, be hey, I may be a piece of shit, but I don't want to I'm not gay. <laughs> bro. Uh your body, your choice. Wait, no, you got to like put this on oh, backwards yeah, and then do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking gay. <laughs> no, no, vape I, no, yeah. I just hate women. Vape while you do it too. There you go. Uh, what we're looking at right now is a man who has gone his own way. I'm, I'm not a fucking go gay, bro. I'm MGTOW. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. MGTOW. Women, women are gross. What does MGTOW mean? It's like men going their own way. It's like an incel thing. Oh, so it's damn. like men that are like, women, just all they want to do is take your money. And like, they are actually worthless. Um, I went to a frat uh, in college <laughs> called Alpha Sigma Pi. And we like did fucking epic brewski keg stands all time. And there was no women there. And it was just the way I liked it. You know? But I'm not gay, bro. Yeah. I'm not yeah, fucking gay. so much sense to me. I want to yeah, go to the frat Alpha Sigma Sigma. Alpha Sigma Sigma. <laughs> ass. Yeah, it's just ass. It's just ass. All about that ass. Boy ass. <laughs> boy Can't ass. get enough of that. Alpha boy Sigma ass. Sigma. We're male only. Uh, frat boy buttocks. Uh, frat, <laughs> fucking spread them open. Okay. <laughs> 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 Frat's still like a big thing in America. Oh, yeah. 
I went like to a, a couple frat parties. Fucking worst experiences so, of my life. So frat's yeah. like, a, like a dorm house. They have like a house that they rent. It's owned I, yeah. by the frat. Yep. And then there's a bunch of people who live there who go to the yeah. School. So there's like there's like bedrooms, there's study rooms. They have the basement where they throw all the parties. They have a closet in the basement where they prepare all the roofies. Where they store all the frat. You know, there was uh, there boys. was a fucking there was <laughs> when I went to college. There was this fucking frat called um, I think it was like Sigma Alpha Epsilon or something. It was S A E and and everyone was like, do not go to SAE's parties because there was a girl who got roofied and raped uh, like three years before and they like lost their like frat license, but they still had a house or whatever. So whenever someone was like, yo, are you going to go to SAE? Don't go there. You know what that stands for? And I'd be like, what? Sigma Alpha Epsilon? I'd be like, no, sexual assault expected. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember yeah. you have spoken about this before yeah. in, a, in a CSGO session. Mm. I, thought, uh, I thought frats got uh, protested a lot. I think there was a lot of anti fratting groups. There's a couple. There, there is like, dude, I had a cousin that joined a frat, and he was like, yeah, the hazing was awesome. I was like, well, how they haze Wait. you? Isn't the hazing meant to be negative? Yeah, yeah, but he's a fucking idiot. But he, I was like, how is the hazing awesome? Like, what did, like, what, did, what did you do? And he said, oh, like, we went into a, sh you know, we, we all went into a shower naked with cold water blasting. And I was like, okay. And, and then what? <laughs> he was like, they asked us what our favorite alcohol was. And then we tell them, and then they got us a handle of it. And then we had to finish it all in the shower under <laughs> an hour. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they're like, no. And then after that, they made us drive blindfolded. Um, like, Wait, like, while? While extremely drunk. fucked up. Um, I guess if you're blindfolded, it doesn't, it doesn't really, really matter. matter then. And there was a guy, like, you know, helping them out or whatever. But you know, the idea was that it would scare them. And then they dropped them off naked, like, like five kilometers away from the campus. And then took, the, took their phone. And then they had to find their way back. Yeah, so it sounds like in a lot like my experience joining the Misfits, actually. Yeah. I think back on it. Getting naked Jeez. in a cold shower and yeah. alcohol, getting fucking yeah. wasted. <laughs> Guys, are we a frat? It's just barbaric culture, isn't it? Mm. Not for us. We're civilized. Yep. Mm. That's what people say about us. Yeah. Civilized. Those Misfits, civilized. I listen to them because they remind me of what civilized people are. We have sex the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. In the missionary <laughs> position for the sole purpose of procreation to a hole in the sheet. Mm. Absolutely. God yeah, bless. There's no better way. Something about the, the fabric going around your cock. Oh, yeah. Sheet pussy hit different, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It hit like dolphin puss. <laughs> oh, my God. Not quite, Toby. You said sheets, not sheep. Not quite. <laughs> not sheep. Uh, the New no, Zealanders. Sheet pussy. That shit don't hit at all. I'll be real. That shit's gross. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like that joke. This is the Misfits Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. I shouldn't say ladies and we gentlemen. Should, that's, that's so old-fashioned. When, when the podcast ends, we should just fade out our own audio while we're while we're saying goodbye as if the podcast is just getting... Like a news show. show. It's like goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Wait, then we're going to start stacking podcast. papers. <laughs> no one can see you. Check our notes. <laughs> Wait, are we still on? We're still on. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week with more. <laughs> more <of> that. Yeah. <laughs>